as a man, I would want to raise my son for black women to uh, appreciate him. And so I want him to be the type of black man that black women appreciate. Why don't a lot of black women want to raise their daughters or even raise themselves in the image of the woman that they would want black men to be attracted to? Yes, uh, we actually have a video from the late and great godfather that is Kevin Samuels. And what he done in this video to me was absolutely surgical as to what he done when he broke down this psychology of this particular woman. And, you know, it's probably only about two minutes long, I think. But I want you guys to see it. And a lot of you people have already probably already see, seen it. But What video is this? I can't see it. Huh? What one is it? I can't see it. It's the one with the, you, you can see it, brother. It's the one that is the fifth video. One, two, three, four. Okay, I thought so. Yeah. Um, yeah, he, uh, he's surgical with it. Could, could we just play it and see how surgical he is with this? All right, what do you have for me? What are we talking about? I just want to know why you have such a negative opinion of black women. Do you really want to start that way off with me? Pause. Yes, I do. Well, well, I do. <laughs> <laughs> Pause. Bro, she came in with Vim. Yeah? Yep. She came in like, I just want to know why, you know, you don't like black women. And he, and he did pause and he was like, do you really want to start off like that with me? Like with me, of all people, do you really want to start like, like with me? Uh, continue playing. Do you really want to start that way off with me? Yes, I do. Mm -hmm. Are you single or are you married? Um, I was married. I am You're single now. You're divorced? I am divorced. How long have you been divorced? Since I was 40. Any children? I have four children, seven grandchildren. Any sons? I have two sons, two daughters. Are they married, your sons? My sons are not married. Mm -hmm. What am, Neither I, are my what am I asking black women to do that your sons would disagree with? Um, I think my sons kind of look at me and they don't want to be married to black women. I said, they what am I asking black women to do that your sons would disagree with? I'm not sure. Hmm. Your sons look at you and they don't want to be married to black women? Yes. Do they love you? Yes. Then why don't they want to be married to what looks like you? I'm a very forceful woman. Mm -hmm. So what was the initial question you asked me? Mm-hmm. <laughs> 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 what about black women don't you like? Hmm. Probably. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Yeah, what about black women don't you like? Hmm, probably the same things your son don't like about you. That could be true. Mm -hmm. And I don't hate you black women, just like black, black women. Black women like yourself just don't like a mirror being held up to you with facts, data, and statistics. Your son holds a mirror. Your sons have determined who their mate choice your sons would likely not disagree with anything. And they have not chosen their own reflection based upon the woman that raised them. Why have your sons rejected you? I don't think that they have. Brother, the guy was surgical, man. The guy was surgical. Dr. Strange. When you, when you, you, you go into boxing, right? And there are people like Mike Tyson who want to knock your head off. Then there are people like Floyd Mayweather. Money, money May. Money May. It would just, you know, hit and don't be hit. Yeah. I'll hit you and you're never going to hit me. I'll hit you. And Kevin Samuels was like that for me. He always hit and never got hit. He was surgical with it. The woman came in with Vim talking about, oh, why don't you like black women? And then had the gall to say, oh, my sons probably don't like me because I'm a bit forceful. But 
my sons haven't chosen black women. And it didn't register in her head, bro. It didn't register in your head that the reason why that your sons may not have chosen black women is because of you. That wouldn't register in your head because in her head, she's probably perfect. In her head, she's probably done no wrong. But also, this is the schizophrenic nature of a lot of what is going on here, is that you, you accept that you're a forceful woman but then you also would probably want your sons to choose black women. So why don't you represent the type of black woman that he would want to choose? And this is what doesn't make sense. If we go back a couple of videos where the woman said to the guy, oh, I don't care, I don't care. And he's trying to tell, the, trying to tell her, this is what black women are like. And like, I don't care. Why wouldn't you want to represent the type of black woman that black men would want? I don't understand it. And that is one of the things that, boggles my mind because as a man I would want to raise my son for black women to uh appreciate him and so I want him to be the type of black man that black women appreciate why don't a lot of black women want to raise their daughters or even raise themselves in the image of the woman that they would want black men to be attracted to I don't think they think about it mm. I don't think it's a conscious decision it's, uh, it's subconscious, do you yeah. think? Mm -hmm. So fact, it's subconsciously, not, it's not, it's not subconscious, just... it's unconscious because they're just sleepwalking through life. Mm. They're not saying to themselves, cool, what can I portray that my son will see and be like, yeah, that's what I want because it's, it's not something that they think about. This is this assume their sons will find somebody. Like them. But she's acknowledged that she's a forceful woman that her son probably, that black men probably wouldn't like, or her son don't like generally, and her sons, I'm, I'm guessing her sons are black. So this is what I'm trying to say about um, the foresight and that men have uh, opposed to the foresight that women have. Women are living for the now and men are living for the future. So men are looking at, i tell you how men live for the future, bro. You already know how men are. Men will see a woman, right? And they'll, and if they think that that woman is potential, they'll want to see her mum. And then when the mum comes along, the guy will be like, actually, if she turns out like that, I'm all right. Do you know what, yeah? yeah. Um, she's um, all right. Actually, we're all right. Like, for a long time, I've always been looking for a woman that has qualities that my mum has. So I've actually been looking for that because right. my mum had qualities that I like. Fantastic. Yeah? Your mum your your knew what she was doing? Yeah. I was, well, yeah. It, it makes sense considering how she was raised and whatnot, yeah? Right. A while ago, I was seeing somebody and I said to her, I want to meet your mum before we, you know, mm. go further. She said, yeah. no. We're not going further. We're not going to, you're not going to meet my mum until we go further. So I was like, no, 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 no. Let me meet the bitch. Sorry. <laughs> Let me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, go Let on. Let me meet the wonderful lady. Because I ain't ain't to size up because you are going to evolve. Right now, you're Charmander. Right. And I want to see whether you turn into Charizard or Voldemort. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so, but yeah, <laughs> needless to say, it didn't work out. She didn't understand where I was coming from. You know, but that's what men do, though, because they're looking to the future. Like, I know that when I saw, like, what it, it, same thing. Men, you know, you know exactly what it is. You see a woman, if you think there's potential, you say, let me see your mum. I want to see the mum. And if you look at the mum, you think the mum's, what, 60 or whatever. And you think, actually, if I was 60, could I see myself with that type of woman? Yeah, actually, I could. That's why men are consistently looking to the future. 